Omuuliriza wa kwa radio Waina chewebuza kubuangabu Wakuloga netu manyuru achi wakuloga Olina olutwe Ngabudiomu olunwe alusimba mkwe Oyagala kuda kulutembe raba jajabu Owa oyagala kumanya na chukwata gana kulubale wa chikacho Naruwa achi ya gana okutelela Tukusaba Welcome to Cow Radio. In Tabiro Yamagazo, we are not together. Cow Radio. In Kuzi Yogwanga, we are not together. After a degree in engineering, I went back. I did electrical engineering in Victoria. I have two professions. Uh, I've never worked with the United Nations in Tabiro Sudan. I was working at IIC, International Individual Contractor. Uh, my contract had uh, nine months. But when I completed the seven months, that's when the spirituality, the spiritual powers came, came in, intervened. I was called from there. In fact, I was called when I was at work. I never wanted to serve this. Because I have my profession and I was getting some good money. I know you guys know what it means working with the United Nations. But I learned Sundays you don't work for five days and even a few hours. You get four thousand two hundred dollars yesterday. So I dropped, I was choked of all that. I became like handicapped. Mm -hmm. After now, mm -hmm. so when we talk of spirituality, mm -hmm. it might sound kind of weird, sound of funny mm -hmm. to someone. <laughs> yeah, what is he talking about? So it's but we, we might be here, we might be from different races, but I, I believe you also believe mm -hmm. in what we call spirituality behind everyone mm -hmm. is spirituality. Mm -hmm. So I was also called in the world. In fact, I even missed the exact cost. Let the job quota go so far. I know the job. The job is that's how we will come on this side. In some parts of Africa, coffee and water, what is that? Do it. Yes, you. See? You, 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 you might not eat the coat and eat the seed. Yeah, feel free. If you want to eat the seed, you want to eat the seed. You want to eat the seed. If you don't feel free, you want to eat the seed. That's how I was called, and that's how I started. I dropped off. I, in, in fact, I was not even forced to drop off the work. But behind me, the spiritual power, the spiritual, spiritual forces, they forced me to leave the work and come back to my country. Uh, by then, I had the same engineer. He was called Orlando Elkano. Uh, in the United Nations, when you move, there is a document you sign. It's called MOP, Movement of Personnel. Uh, you indicate when you're leaving and when you're coming back. Me, I never indicated when I'm coming back. And in fact, they liked me so much. So I told them, I'm not coming back. So said, please, you indicate at least you go home, relax, even if you're taking a bath. Because we were like used to take 
four to five days I leave early and early. So I never indicated that I'm coming back. He said, no, I just want to go back home. So that's how I started. When I came back to Uganda, I had some, some, some little good money, like a, a hundred and fifty million in my account. But to be honest, I never spent eight months with that money. And I can't tell you where I, like how I spent it. I just ended up having nothing, nothing. In fact, even before joining the United Nations, we were living in a happy family. This is my wife. We are having six children. And our firstborn is a girl called Kate. She's a midwife. She's a midwife. The boy, second born, is a baby cosmetology. So now you see and you feel how handicapped I became. You have professions, no work, no one is even seeking for you because of the spiritual power. So I ended up here. This is where I trained those who also go through what I went through because there are so many people who go through what I went through and in fact of this very man we are having a function I don't know if he will be still in Uganda and he might even pay us a gift to me if it is a day we shall spend here five days training new new can I call them priests spiritually from 2060 of this development to 30 this development we shall be here. It was so challenging after being called upon by your ancestral spirits, your ancestral powers. Everyone will be expecting getting some money. And even I was expecting I was expecting some money. But I ended up with my children. They stayed at home, no school fees, no bread, no sugar, no what. I went through trials, very, very, very difficult trials, to the extent of writing two books. Uh, one is Kuruze, uh, one one in Nono, that is in Uganda, and uh, I had a concise edition of Karisha, and know where you were misled. That is the first book. There are 340 pages. So I wrote another one. I scored it in the title, the Chama Chien Sinogram, that is in our tongue, as in translation, and the secret of the world and life. It is having 740 pages. So I think I've done some code research to me reaching that episode and that achievement of writing books. I do share with others on YouTube. I also have a Google on a Google Play so I have a radio, online radio. Because I know out there people are suffering. Not only Bagandas, because Baganda is my plan, but also different tribes. Different cultures we go to different tribes. But the journey is the same. The journey of life is the same. You might be white or black, one thing, whatever. But what is inside you and me is blood. It's red. What is inside you is a soul. You have a soul, I have a soul. So that's why I end up saying with brothers and sisters, no matter what color we are, but we are the same. So that's why I came out. I was trying to reach others through social media. We share, they contact you, they teach them, all remind. In fact, sometimes I don't want to use the word teach. I just remind. It's reminding you that our ancestors, the great ancestors, they use this to heal. They use this to be okay. Someone can learn mad. 
our sisters, do you think they had a big machine to diagonalize what is what is wrong with your head? Never. But they just used to pick pick little little hubs as you see them. And they hear someone ends up healing them, can't or tell anything. At least the world people used to heal themselves even before uh, the, 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 maybe the right word is Western medicine as in Africa. Um I don't think today we are talking about spirituality deep according to what you asked me when young Nepal yesterday. He told me to at least talk more about herbal medicine. What is herbal medicine? Uh, this is, I, I can subscribe with it, I, I, I can describe I can describe it in two forms. One, an extract from the greens you see around the tree, the bark of the tree, the fruits. Even eating a fruit is a habo. Boiling. You can either take raw and boil, you can take boiled. But you have different species. According to our ancestors, our ancestors, what we believe in dreams. Pure, we believe in dreams. If someone does not believe in a dream, then I put a question mark there. Who are you? If the so-called, if, 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 even if the so-called Bible that we used to read is a, a story of Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar was good at believing in dreams, and Daniel was the interpreter. So, to some of us who are chosen, we sleep, we sleep, but we in our sleep, at least they come. The ancestors. After some good days, weeks, months, or years, she might come having uh, endless bleeding. Here we call it a chikurukutu, endless bleeding. Then I ask. I use my knees, I kneel down, I ask my sister, how can I treat this? How to diagonalize this? Someone is having this. He or she has tried different people. No cure, no change. How can I treat her? Then in your dream, they take you, your spirit. The spirit is that that one who is in you because I, at, with me I look at the body is different with the spirit me I believe death is with the body but your spirit will never die so when the spirit comes after me asking for how to treat how to deal with the certain illness of someone so they take me out in my dream. They show you this and the other one and the other one. When you add, boil, give this quantity. So we give, even in herbal medicine, we give in quantity. Herbal medicine also has overdose. We don't just, we don't just take. No, because you are saying it's just herbal, just herbal. Even herbal medicine has overdose. You, you can even take an overdose. There is a, a plant I know. It treats what they call worms. Yes. In, yes. in, yes. yes. yeah. in your stomach. If you take a full cup of that extract, that extract from that plant, you fall down. Just a cup of 500 mils. So even 
Oh, carbonating, salt, over, dot. Um, and in herbal, with herbal medicine, at least most of the diseases before you, our brothers and sisters, came away into Africa, some were very good and were chewed. Most of them were chewed. Like malaria. I'll take you out there and show you some of the plants that are used to treat and cure malaria. Because dealing with malaria and fighting malaria is only looking at bitterness. It's bitterness that fights malaria out of your body. That's why you see even Western medicine, the quinine, the ronat. In fact, most of the atequine, most of the medicines that treat malaria, they are bitter. So even our grants use the same bitterness to deal and fight malaria. Flu, common flu, trees are there. You can, you can even do these home remedies, sauna. You boil, you cover your soap, and you suspect you open, and you clean. Flu, cough, sinuses. You deal with. Because in Africa, I think you, I don't know if you have ever toured most parts of Africa, but in Africa, in most parts of Africa, not everyone can afford to buy. Look at a home which cannot even afford uh, 60,000 to buy medicine. So, what do they do? They just get the leaves, they boil it, they take it. At most, they are okay. So, I have talked to when you get out of here. I think you're jutting down, you talked of malaria, you talked of flu, cough, um, vitamin deficiency, fluids. That's how our grants cope to live, vitamin deficiency, fluids. In fact, it is also advisable everyone after food or before food to take a food. In fact, when I'm listening to other people, there is this act of people taking water as they are taking food. How great they never behave so. It is the same thing that we are copying from Western and we are thinking we are copying from Western but it was never here. In fact, uh, I think the professor knows this. No child, some 50 years back, could be allowed to eat as well as taking water. It was not allowed. Our brothers were very well. They had a reason in fact, you can see it as a minor reason that if you're taking food as well as taking water, your stomach is getting full fast and you don't eat enough food. So the reason behind it was to take enough food, then after food, you relax, take water, meat. Our grands, they could not allow you to take meat as you're eating food. You first finish food. In fact, if you used to eat meat first before food, they could say you are greedy. Why are you finishing meat first? This one is greedy. But why? The logic behind is that digestion, when you eat meat, meat is harder 
and the food is soft. So at least eat meat at last to ease up the digestion. Simple things. So we had all this here, but we lost most of them. We lost most of them. So we got wounds. Here in Africa, someone can learn. And you get serious wounds. Even breaking the fracture. I'm talking about the fracture. But not everyone that is taken to the hospital in Africa. No way. Most of them, they end up being taken at their home and treated for homes. In fact, without even the help of the medicine. Don't forget what I told you, that not everyone can afford the medicine. They would wish to get, but because of money. And I know you, my brothers and sisters, you know, the endless use of the medicine is also sad. Because when you like when you visit your gogo, they give you the side effects. <laughs> and uh, the good and the bad of the medicine you are taking, even if it's paracetamol, they indicate. But it's uh, upon us the end user. Someone is smoking cigarettes, like here in our country. In fact, if you look at the box of the cigarettes here, it is enough for you to stop smoking. It has something with decayed teeth, lungs infected, but people end up still smoking. And they even indicate cigarette smoking can be harmful to health. But we end up taking. So, we talked of wounds, how we deal with wounds. If one gets a wound, how do you deal with it? And in fact, you have a. a, a that the slow chew and the fast chew, depending on what what wind is near you, what access do you have to that wind? The strong one. Even in your body, you have the strong, the strongest. So we group them. Like if you get this, it will be much better than the other one. Even Western medicine, we have that. So, we we'll go out there. At least I try to show you some plants to deal with someone who's get, someone who has got a card. Um, another thing is headache. You feel headache. Not go away. But when you talk of headache, we have what we call a spiritual headache. Here. If there is a death behind you, behind your ancestral line, like this, headache is one of the common signs. If it is treated and it cannot even go away, it's one of the it's one of the things that also went through for the headache but if it's not that there's also have that deals with the headache I will also show you that a stomach aching stomach aching and deworming we do deworm using instant med uh, uh, medicine we do there is a, 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 a weed that I can even give you, boil, like five minutes, we take. It, clean, it cleanses your system. I, I only give you like 20 minutes visiting the toilet on and off. 20 minutes after consuming it, 20 minutes is enough for you. That is at what you like you pack out of that 
But what do you think? Think of what you consume on your daily basis. Coffee, anything. Beer, but tea supplies. Do you think? Do you know that they come away when you go to to pee? The water is colorless, most of you. But where do you think that coffee is? Where do you remain? In your distance. So at least sometimes, sometimes once in a month, you have to clean your system, detoxify. Because <coughs> your new skin, you every day, it's a daily basis, to clean your skin. Because you see. But where you don't see, how do you clean? So I'll show you there as we move around some of the herbs that you can use to detoxify and clean your stomach. Um, when we deal, we need herbal medicine, also deal with our pregnant mothers. Is it called antenatal? Yeah. We have internet, okay. <coughs> and you have millions, no pipe. Those who never went to institutions to train, but they know, and she's one of them. She's young, but she's one of them. Because that, 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 that is in their line from their grandmother to their mother, now to them. Maybe for, for, for the good of those who are making notes, we term them as traditional birth attendants. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, she can mm -hmm. she can diagnose you the baby is not uh, in the right position in your stomach and she gives a hug. Now the baby comes back to a normal position. Even if you're giving birth, this one. They, they, some babies they have the act of the umbilical cord being around their neck. They can just give a hug and <laughs> get out of give a normal birth. By the way, in the African medicine, right, African system, that system of caesarean, we, have, we didn't have it. Because we believe we have enough medicine for you. Even if you very short, the medicine is there for you to deliver. Not being operated in Africa, it wasn't there. That is sex or dimorphism. Someone is having sexual parts big, small, sexual dimorphism. So that in Africa, you could just only take the herb at the end of your month to deliver success. Only normally. So, if I look around, we see some of the herbs that I use on the pigment mother. Um stress, depression. Someone is having a bit called sleep insomnia. We know how to deal with it. Someone just takes a, a spoon, a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon. As we are talking now with you, you've taken one tablespoon, one tablespoon, and you start down. Sleep your rest. With resting is also part of a therapy, part of medicine, part of medicine. Someone must sleep. At least known places and telling all that some of us will up in the and I know you know, you as a student, that if you don't sleep, you end up again endangering your internal organs. Your heart needs time to rest, your liver needs time to rest, your lungs needs time to rest, but you don't rest. So, if we get a chance, around 
I see that how about show you? It's, it's, in fact, it's, it's one of the common plants that we even administer to those people. They bring it us when they're mad, totally mad. Can even box you. They are even robbed. When they come, we, we force him down from his or her ropes, then we pull possibly like half a cup. Remember, I told you a spoon is enough for you to have it. But if someone like completely mad, you force the pour inside. After like five minutes, you take off your ropes. It's just the right place as you look for other herbs to deal with the madness. Because madness is also sensitive. Madness is also sensitive. It, it, if it is not spiritual, that someone destroyed, like me here, I have those buildings for my grand sisters. I come, I burn one. Tomorrow I might end up becoming mad. That one will be a bit hectic. They can fit and they are not sure. Don't until you put back what you destroyed. <laughs> but if it is this no more, no more, no more madness, someone had stress, someone like is not sleeping every time, thinking, thinking, think, overthinking. Because with overthinking, you can even learn mad. Depression, anxiety, there's panic attacks. Someone has no one totally to count to him or her. What do you think next? Suicidal thoughts is it? In fact, every time you have a suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Mm. People here in Africa, I think maybe it's the religion around the world. Most people, they don't die of a disease, but they die of stress. After knowing I have a fatal disease, I cancer. They told me it's on a sad state. You diabetic, sad, sad, this sad, what they can level. Pressure, hypertensive. We have a hub for pressure. I'll show you there. Diabetics. We also deal with bitterness with diabetics. But it, it depends on what level. There is a level when it is still choice. There is a level when the, it is deteriorated already. Apart from being there, you survive today, tomorrow, but it will never go back or it will never go off. So, the earlier the better you deal with it when it is still in early stages, then you join. Um, what else? Yeah, HIV. Ah, human immune deficiency. Syndrome. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. We deal with it. But what is the logic behind AIDS? When it enters the blood system, it takes control over your big blood cells, white blood cells, then it ends up becoming weak. So with AIDS, Boosting your immune. Counseling is number one. Because whoever gets AIDS, what he thinks of next, next <laughs> tomorrow I'm going. Tomorrow I'm going. In fact, you might even find some of them stopping associating with you because. It takes him, him or herself out of 
the others. That is a brain game. You cancel that very fast one. It's not only AIDS that kills. There are so many people with AIDS, but still, if someone is having AIDS, then talk to him or you're beating people there on accident. Yes, they do. Do you think how many people do you think have died of accidents today and they have left you with your AIDS? So it's all about boosting the immune of that someone. Building up the white blood cells more in the body. What we standard term as CD4. What is your CD4 counts? They are down. You will see. They are up. You hear it. That is the logic behind. So we are going to move along and show you. I think you see putting them down. Show you which or some of the herbs that can be used on people with AIDS. And it is as the same as people with cancer. We are not looking at treating, but we are looking at how someone can live longer. Someone could be having AIDS in five years a day. Someone is having AIDS 30 years, still healthy. it. What do you think behind? What is the way? So, <coughs> so, so, we don't cure it, but there are, mm -hmm. yeah, there are some diseases that are not cured completely. Mm -hmm. But someone, at least you can, someone can be with it. Mm -hmm. And if you're you not very wise, in fact, even some reach the extent of going to the tests and the disease you won't see that it is there. If, the, if they are using these, these local, local, local clinics, they will never see. That is just so possible. Uh, eyes. The eyes. Is it a cataract? It's called cataract. Cataract. We call it in Uganda the same thing. The same thing. Your, your end is now being eaten slowly. It's getting recovered. With a little Thing, with a little thing from this white part, it grows covering the black one. That's the pattern. Ah, we have a herb. In fact, this one, that one is also near here. This flowers we use. We use the pot. Ah, bald head. <laughs> it's fun, but I don't know. I planted one there. If it is surviving, if it's surviving this drought, I'll show you the body. I have more than 20 people. But someone told me how about you. <laughs> more than. It is just a, a, a fluid. You cut, you put, and your air goes back. It is good. It is good. It is It is very true. It is good. 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 It is
Then ringworm and skin related diseases or infections. And you write down, I will show you. Constipation. You've taken some more time to go to this toilet. We talked to it there, but I remembered of another plant to show you. On addition of the other one. What I've seen it around you there. What is it? Or do you have any questions? Do you have any questions before it takes us around? If you have any questions with you, please. What is it? Any questions? Yeah. Um, I guess I want to ask if you have an opinion on Western medicine. Like, how do you think it fares compared to other countries? Oh no? Computer? Western medicine. Yeah. Yeah. A comparing yeah, 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 yeah. comparison yeah. between your Western medicine and Yeah, ours. like what do you think? <laughs> it is Western medicine. Yeah. Western medicine. Yeah. 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 More strong. You get healed. You take the Corfella canal. Certainly, mm -hmm. you jump in. Mm. But have you treated the root cause? Mm -hmm. It is fast, efficient, but with much side effects. Am I clear? Mm. Okay. Oh. She was also asleep. Do you take off, do you eat a lot of your herbs or use them? Ah, not most of them, not all of them that we eat. Oh. Some of them are like skin related diseases. Some you drink, some you scrub. Not all of them that are eaten. Not all of them that are edible. No. Mm. Some are edible, some are not. Yeah. And do you, do you use them yourself? No, I do. I also do. I also do. I do. I do fairly well. Medicine. I eat fruits. I never boil them. For my lady, bitter leaves, I'm going to show you. I just squeeze the juice. I don't need to boil. I take. But with the bitter leaf, that's bitter leaf plant. If you boil the roots, it's quinine. If you boil the roots, that is quinine. In fact, if you take the root, the boiled roots of the bitter tree, you even feel that itching. Very strong, very strong. And I also. Uh -huh. How were you trained in herbal medicine and traditional healing? You say you now train other yeah. people, but how traditional, are you trained? Traditional healing. Someone trained me. Okay. And that someone is still alive. He's uh, alongside Masafari. I don't know if you know that. But he, to your supplies, someone who trained me, I might even end up being much more better than him. The thing is, today you train me, do you believe tomorrow you profit? You will profit at all. But do you believe also that hands of a teacher that you went through with him also profit? So you might even become much more better than the one who trained you. It depends on what you want. You. The, 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 the callings, your calling is not her, or his calling. You are somewhere bigger, in a bigger position tomorrow. 
naive in your belly. So someone who trained me this, as I speak of now, he himself also knows I'm better than me. Because at least me, at least me I have tried to do some research, some survey. Me I'm not only seated in one position. No, I never, and I will never till my death. Because I need to know something new every day. But for him, it's too much in his spiritual thingy, training the, 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 the new priests. But may I do research in and out on a brand. Why is this looking so? Why is this flower red and the other yellow, the other white? So may I do research. But for him, he And what? What made our medicine and our culture weak? Because most of them, in fact, 90% of our grand ancestors, we never went to school. So we are looking at a generation now where books must be applied. You have to apply their knowledge. Am I understood? Yes. Like if you call now today one of my assistant, assistants, assistants, like talk of his experience, he cannot explain what I'm explaining to you in the mother tongue you can understand. But me at least I went to school and I'm still studying because in my belief. Studying will never end, not until. And in your journey, like never underlook someone. Just believe, as long as you're still living, you're learning. And the boy or girl you're underlooking is having a solution that has made you suffer for 10 years. So, Callings are different. Answer? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do all traditional healers in Uganda believe that the same herbs cure the same illnesses? Or is there like ever controversy over like what an herb can do for someone? The challenge we have in the traditional medicine. A plant. Or a bitter leaf. We call it Mululu in your other tongue. It, it, it cannot only really cure one thing. It cures a series of things. So you might find in Uganda here, central region, I'm using it to cure malaria. Then you go to western, but still in Uganda, western part or eastern part. They are using it to chew up differently. Okay? So it depends. In fact, on those grants, our grants, in the beginning, someone used it to chew what? It can chew your headache. And she was happy in the body. But headache and pain in the body almost related. It's all about pain. Okay? Do you think there are some like sicknesses or like ailments, like having a tumor or like breaking a bone that like Western medicine may be able to fix where like herbal medicine may have like limitations on? Yes. Very true. Um, in, just think at the example I have to give you in the other countries. One of the government hospitals in Uganda, I was a very good professor, it's called the Uganda Hospital. But there are so many people in Uganda in Kazuriki. 
after accidents, the bone has broken into pieces and we even decided to cut off the bone. Some end up coming back. Western medicine is not all about magic and miracle. We should not forget about the spiritual powers behind it. Because if you break the leg, this is going to sound weird to you, but it is very true. Someone breaks the leg, the hand. I just need to look at you on the one day. Right I wish you up, I put on my magic stick, the bandage. Mm -hmm. But every day in the evening at six, I will be picking them. Let's carry with you one of the two. The seedling of a banana plant. Oh. A chip. A chip. A chip. A chip. A chip. You broke the red, I break it also. You got your home at 6 in the evening. I try massaging this chip. But whenever I massage it, you are there in pain at your home and crying loud. When this chip starts moving, you also there start. You get the point? So, there are so many. There are so many. Because with Western, with Western treatment, some of them, because of money, they don't have money, they don't forget. I talk to them. They don't have money. What they do? They don't have money to, to spend time repairing your broken leg. The easiest way to chop it off. That's how also people lose their legs and their hands. Because of but when we come out of wounds that have become cancer, most of them come from different people. They come to us. We treat them. And they move. I'm forgetting the name for a tunnel. Forgetting the name. But in Western medicine, if someone falls sick of that so called disease, it's called the tower in our in our town, in our town. If they inject you, if they inject in you any foreign particle. Any foreign medicine, the next day you're not going to be dead. So here we see, now oh, this is the cover. No, 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 please don't even get to the gift. So we handle it carefully. It can, eat, it can be here. You feel the pain, you feel the chest is busting. Business. It pain tears every time. But in local medicine, in our local culture, we do transfer the pain from here to here. And we treat it here. It is very possible. Very possible. There are so many people have seen it. And so many people will witness it. So when you go there, I'll show you some of the herbs to use. In fact, I'm going to call my, I have my do doctor, friend of mine, who is a friend of mine, the family doctor. He knows. In fact, he has never told me that the, 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 the Italian image. So I'm going to tell you that this herb works on you know, that one. Okay? Oh, um, two short ones. One. 
<laughs> you, you mentioned at the beginning that you have actually written some books. Yes. So, have you, do you have some protocols that you have written that someone can follow? You know, in, you know, the, in the, in the use of the, some of these apps in recruiting. That's one question. No, let me pass that on that one. Yeah, okay. My third book is going to be entitled or is going to be based on herbal medicine and treatment. There you go. It is my third book. I'm looking forward to that. The third book, I'm now looking at writing. Good. I know it will cost me because I want to indicate uh, by images that disease, the parts of illness and that how and how to admit and how to deal with it. It is the third book I want to write. That would be very good. Yeah. Okay. The, the first two books I wrote, they are so much on spirituality. Spiritual. Spiritual. And I'm looking at someone who is going to trust everybody because they don't have time. Mm-hmm. I need to trust them. The one, fact, the one I saw, I was for too, too expensive. Mm-hmm. The other book of Fair and Unfortunate Day, he was asking for six million. Mm-hmm. He has translated the book. This is how How many million? Million? Our life six. 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 six million. Six million. Mm-hmm. Translating only one book. So, but look at me. I need to deliver yeah. something to people, to give money. So, we end up some of these words that could be vital to you, not reaching you guys. Mm-hmm. Because of the language. Yeah. But if it is written in English that you understand better, it's better for you to download. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. When you, you Google it, it's called what in English? Cellulitis. Sorry? Cellulitis. Cell- cellulitis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is commonly referred to as a tallow, a mm-hmm. Uganda word which comes from Chitalo in mm-hmm. Uganda to emphasize how cellulitis, how Chitalo. dangerous it will be. Yes. Okay. Yes, this one is it's trying to get a problem with the days. Ah, but you saw when nothing but this grammar was where is it? Yeah, I'm trying to ask. He's asking, is, are there some conditions, some illnesses that he can't treat? And he refers to the Western doctors. He says, yes, yeah. yes in the first position, in the first position, I'm not a screen being. Mm-hmm. Though I may be the image of that screen being, even you told you, you guys, you friend, you're going to make good doctors. But don't remember, don't forget, you always remember you heal, you treat him, he heals. So, there are so many. And in fact, it, it even depends on what degree or level of the healing is. Someone has reached. Stage one variance, treatable, but someone has come with a great belief. You cannot deal. You either refer to Western. We don't do x rays. How can I know the size of your ovarian cysts? I can't. But I tell you, you can do the x rays. We see the position of ovarian cysts, how big, how many, because even ovarian cysts, you just boil the herb, you drink, they come out in form of blood and tick, 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 blood. But I need to a, a clear report. Because someone might ask, so before a clear report, how will you diagonize someone having ovarian cysts? Endless 
Toma papel aí, tá no e-mail. Não vive. Mas se o Western Technologies é valuável, o melhor que você You pay like your twenty thousand, five thousand, fifty thousand, according to the place where you're going to do your examination. The exam you bring the report. So we treat <coughs> what the report has said. Someone has broken the leg, and the leg was not fitted in the proper direction. We break it again, and we put it in the right position. And someone being with a, a crooked a crooked leg. So, <coughs> uh, am I uh, have I answered that? Yes. <laughs> so one one quick one, maybe related to what you asked. So how do you cut the tree? Is there any collaboration between you and so so we, we talk about the Western medicines and then the, the traditional ones? Yes. And now let's say the health care system. In this country, how do the, 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 the doctor in the, the major hospital in Nigeria have a collaboration? I, I, I get the point. Yeah. yeah. The issue uh, is, yeah. One, we had a, a problem in Uganda. Yeah. And that was when they were making the constitution of Uganda. Mm -hmm. I talked to our grants that we, they were people who never went to school. In fact, schools were even in the So what these guys did in the government on the registration or make I mean or making the acts instead of consulting the traditional healers, they never they they call it a witchcraft law. That is the law they forced to us. So, but to some other countries, like Western countries, witchcraft law, how it's even weird. <laughs> witchcraft. And we hear and they call, that, they call us witchcrafts. It pains. So, this is now personal, Professor. Mm -hmm. I call it yourself a doctor. You are in Mulago, you are in Zambia. You are in Yaga Khan. If you tried to treat someone for some good time, you fail him. So what you do, this is now personal between a patient and you. Now is your patient. You tell him, you know what? We have done our part. Our machine is not saying anything. Your body system is okay. But there is someone who is practicing traditional medicine. Someone is like to die with the devil in the corner. You visit him. And they visit us, they end up healing. And testify. I was dying in Western medicine, but I was healed. So that is the collaboration. We also send them with them. Like we are here performing our cultural activity. Someone breaks the head, someone bangs the, the, the head, the, the, the nerve, or the atom is cut, bleeding too much. Why can't I first send you there? You, you first get the first aid. They rejoin the atom. Then after you come, I treat the wound. Then, then keeping you close to me, I don't want you to go because I, I'm looking at getting money from you and you lose blood, you die. The issue is not getting money out of you. We also look at the friendship. Because when I hear you today, you've moved, people have failed you, you come and treat you. Come on, I'm your friend. See, I have my friend. He does everything. So, with treatment, you must also you must also look at friendship. Okay. 
Easy. Yeah, yeah. When you were talking about spirituality, I was wondering, do you like do you follow a certain religion, or is it like a religion specific to like herbal medicine? Are you saying if I talk of spirituality, do I follow certain a certain religion? Be me, I don't. No, me, I don't. In fact, I just call it. It might hurt you, but I need. Me, I just follow my grand tradition. I'm a tradition. I don't have a Christian name. I don't have a name. I don't have a Islamic name. Whatever. So, me, I believe that is country also. And I have my country. But I had a Christian name, which was given to me by my father, the late now, who is there. That is some years back. Who will talk to that? I was named Christopher by then, but I'm now named Christopher. Because people, if you just you just look at people who are believers by faith, not by wisdom. So me, I'm a believer by wisdom. You ask someone, why are you a Catholic? The immediate answer is because of my mother, because of my father, because of my husband. So me, I don't follow that. Me, I believe because I must believe, and I believe what I know. Who is that? And it can't stop me from being a friend to you who is a Christian, who is a Muslim. No way. We're still friends. You're my friend, you're my friend, you come at my home, you visit me at my home, we hang around, we must see a man, it's not until you go back home. You came with a Muslim, I'm not a Muslim. When I, when I, when I, Kill. Oh, I offer my a, a goat to you, and you say you're not going to eat the goat because who, me who is kind of any hurry that has, uh, I have killed a goat, you not eat it. So, but your goat, we are forgetting your blood. Right? Today you are a girl child. You, your father is a Catholic, a staunch Catholic. You get mine. A man is a Muslim. What he does first, he uses what he calls steady fastness and purpose. He has to teach you what the Sahel talks about. So when you go back to the professor who is a Catholic and is your father, who is even paid your school fee, may I say stupidly, you will say, I will not eat that God. Because why? You call now you call your father an Ihore who paid the fee for you, who pampered you because of a man. <laughs> a Muslim man who has just married you, who are you, whom you have just met. So, if it is kind of religion, religion I don't know. But what you believe, everyone is entitled to his or own opinion. You're free to believe what you want, I'm free to believe what I want. At the end of the day, you can sit together, you are free. What is the. Um Symbol on your necklace. <laughs> okay. It looks like a cross. That's what I was wondering. Can I explain? On it. Okay. This is not a cross. This is not a cross. This is called Ankh. Ankh. You can go. It's called Ankh. Or the crux asant. Ankh. A N K H. Ankh. Behind is Ankh. Ankh is a symbol of life. The Ankh has been trading for so many years more than the Christian cross. This Ankh is from Egyptian mythology. And we believe that those great, great, great ones that we believe in, most of them are from Egypt. Tell a story about the Ankh. This down part represents the pens. This one, the ovaries. 
and this one the womb so when this the fence enters the ovaries we get a human being in the head and in culture we know ladies represent the true image of god ladies only because me him him professor was once in the womb was once in his face whatever scream whatever heavy weight he is he was once inside mother's womb so we believe mothers in the culture in spirituality mothers are more strict than men so when you look at the other cross I'm not tarnishing, I'm not abusing, just, just because you asked. I need at least elaborate more about the other cross. The other cross is a symbol of death. No one has ever been hanged on it and survived the death. No one. Jesus died. Kurishina of Indians died. There are so many. Buddha was hung, he died. Just because some of them we don't you know. But don't, remember, don't forget, I told you I did that aside. Symbol of death, the other cross. Okay. Do you believe that cross is mostly seen on coffins? Is it seen on coffins? Coffins? The other cross. Is it true? So. That means the other cross means no life. Where they live, that symbol, there is no life. So we are looking at the coffin, no life there. We are looking at the ambulance, that van carrying patients, no life. We are looking at the hospitals, people who are there in the hospitals with that cross, still <laughs> striving for life. Graveyard. It's in the graveyard. Is there life? And even those people, the Christians, they still connive. They are putting on the cross, but they connive. They are Protestants under King James. They are cross. It never bears the image of their so-called Jesus. Have you ever seen an Anglican? Put him on a, a pendant to Jesus. An Anglican. But look what Roman Catholic they have. And their cross bears the image of someone. Now again, look what the born again is. The, I call them the new kids on the block. They don't totally believe in me. <laughs> Look at the seventh, seventh day, the next under the Ellen G. White and James Gold White. Those are the four of seventh day, the next. They don't even believe in it. They don't. So, who is right? Those who go to you the cross, but they still also connive. They split up. Others believe with someone on it. Others they don't believe with someone on it. Others totally they don't even be near it. In fact, if we have ever seen a, a barrier of other events and they bring a coffin with a cross to remove, and it is the same to us. When we are burying someone here or in the country, we remove the cross. Because cross means what? If I say I have crossed you out, what do you mean? If I say he's crossed out, we are now friends here. We get a snap. You keep at your home, he keeps, he keeps. But when one dies, one of us, you know, he made you put. He said he's crossed out. So we don't believe in crossing out people. We believe in life. We believe in peace. That's why I'm putting on friends. Okay. 
which is interesting because usually like or at least like I learned that like crosses like not that but, like regular Christian crosses like I mean new life not death so it's it's just like the shape is similar so that's why like when you put a cross on a casket it, and you said like the body dies with the spirit like this spirituality never does it's like the symbolism of like your spirit is still alive no but in spirituality there's also what I forgot to in spirituality but uh, in spirituality we don't even pray for dead people in traditional spirituality we don't pray for dead people mm. I say, I say, listen, we don't pray for dead people Mm. But because you have time to pray for yourself. So when you've never prayed for yourself, we don't have time to pray for you when you're there. You, you have whatever it takes for you to pray for yourself. You know, the seventh day don't take the bodies to the church for prayer. Basabila bonga bo. Bo. Basabila bonga bo. So that is the move. You 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 are you are wrong doer. You are rapist. You are robber. You are what? Then. You waste our time, you die, that we pray for you, God forgive this one. So we don't do that. <laughs> you have to prepare yourself. As young as you're still living. <laughs> now what does it change? Simple logic. Do you think if we pray for you and been killing people, we pray for you, does it change anything? Because you have brain. We have <laughs> does it change? Now, that spring being, he says now we have forgiven John, People there, whom he has left there, he has prayed for him. Now, his killings he has been performing to other innocent souls is now forgiven. How? My friend, you go and answer yourself. Because there is life after death. And in spirituality, we don't say there is no life after death. In fact, it's even more painful the life you are going to face than the life you are facing now. Any more questions or we move around? Move around and it shows you a different house. You may ask more questions. Than you. This one is called the cactus. There is also a bladder to this one, a pia cactus. I'm going to show you. This one you've seen. Let me show you a pia cactus, then I tell you what it does. This one, it's called a pia cactus. This one and the other one, you remove the sh these thorns. Eh? You can eat as it is, or you can boil. But don't forget, if some of them that can be eaten without boiling, they bear more ingredients than boiled. Because be boiling means some ingredients are lost. You get? Like the aloe vera. If you boil, it is okay. But look what the ingredients lost when you boil it. You see? You get it? So this one, remove this, and the other one, you take, you eat, you peel off this one. Then you eat the inside. Detoxification body cleanser or system cleanser this one the good thing given you uh, 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 the, 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 diabetes. diabetics mm. they also take so when talk of system cleansing we are looking at diabetic the blood blood sugar uh, pressure and everything as long as it's all about cleansing so the aloe vera for malaria, very good. You chew as it is, very so bitter. What, what, what is the best way to take on? Just you can either make juice, by the even this one, you can brand. Put in the brand. You can brand. You can chop off the chunks. You brand. You chop, chop, small, small. You brand. Yes. Then you take that cocktail. 
the aloe vera, someone having a wound. Aloe vera, you cut this inside one. This one. Pimples. Mm. On aloe vera. Very good. It dries up and it can't even uh, it can't even uh, leave the, the, the mark behind. Very good. For the skin and for also diabetics. This is what I told you in the herbal medicine. It cannot even treat only one. The one good, good skin good this one now this is what we call very bitter for malaria you get you wash you squeeze juice you don't need to boil very bitter very effective this one all the roots you can boil the roots for that stubborn malaria that cannot go away you boil the roots very good very very good this is a mango a uh, mango the guavas now i'm giving you a combination mangoes guavas the roots uh, the coffee roots uh, there is also another one hub that if we sit there i'll show you if you join four or five the roots you boil oh my friend manhood manhood sex drive to a man <coughs> very okay very good and you take in small quantities don't take too much because you might take too much, this is not home, you might find you shouting there alone. Charlie, <laughs> see? <laughs> when, <laughs> when you're very stiff. So you take note of You take note of that. I don't know. I don't know. Hello? You see the pump? There, in front of your van. That one. The loop. Now, faster, faster, we go here. This is avocado. Mm -hmm. You know avocado? Yeah. You know avocado? Yeah. You all yes. know this. Yeah. Now we are looking at Antenanto. We are looking at pregnant mothers. This. When they are pregnant, they boil the leaves, even the back, the back of it. When you boil this, the liquid is kind of bread. So when the mother lost blood, you boil this. Mother lost blood at birth, you boil this one. The fruits, very many ingredients. And uh, the seeds of avocado, you go go, is one of the quickest means of detoxifying your body, lowering your cholesterol level. The seeds of avocado, very good, very good. You sun dry, you sun dry, then you you can use a, a blender. After getting the powder, take one spoon in one cup of hot water, let it cool, take. Very good. Very good. The other mango, the other one, the guava tree, the avocado, uh, 
there is also one uh, the neem tree that combination is also good at uh, people with flu and cough you drink when not hot but you also cover yourself like steaming you steam yourself when it's a question you open then the mucus and uh, your nozzles they open up very 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 good okay so we're gonna move along and just this it is okay i also taste it very bitter but very good for malaria in fact more than this one or this one can share with them also oh, yes. this one. Let me give them very bitter but very 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 good very good in fact this one you can even get powder you chop chop you chop chop you sun dry you sun dry and you make powder very good very bitter Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But very good. Very good. Uh, by the way, my wife has talked of another thing. When you look at bitterness to mothers, ladies, girls, women who have messes, who miss their menstruation periods, to take this bitter thing. You open up. Is it okay? You open up. Okay? So we move along. This one, Professor, you help me with its English name. But here in Uganda, in Uganda, you call it a Kajori Angel. Hey, we yeah, let him do a yeah. research for us. This yeah. one is called Kajodian. This one, for mothers, when they have given birth, taking and also showering down their private. Very good. And also showering a baby. This one, the skin of the baby. Pimples, whatever on the bed, the blisters on the bed, no more. The same one, the other one. You cannot go there, but the other one. That's free. You see it? It's also good for babies in the skin. That one you can, you can get powder. You put in hot water. You shower a baby. The same as this one. Get powder. You. Join or you mix, you get a combination of one, two, three, four, five. Shall we, baby? This is how we do in Africa. Find a baby having a skin same as you. That one. Hmm. Now, here, this is what I was talking about. This is, this is the Ramon. Ramon. With Ramon, we talk of, we have a, a guava, avocado, we have a, a mango, we have these <coughs> steaming, stubborn cough does not go off you take you just take half a that is half a tampeco half a cup no but when i take off a cup I, in west a cup is 250 minutes but here 250 minutes is a, 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 a quarter a quarter cup so you take a quarter by four a day that mixture not only this one alone 
But when this one alone, you just squeeze the juice. But you know what I always do? This one bears more the coat. Bears more functions, more ingredients than the inside. So may I just wash? I take it as it is. Like I'm taking a mango. So when you throw this one, you're missing. The peelings of this, you boil. You take off that oily part. You keep taking a quarter, uh, a table, a teaspoonful a day, good for cholesterol level and pressure. This one, very good for cholesterol level and pressure. So you go there. We have this one. Some of them, I did sciences. Is this one called Karipa Papa? Yeah. Yeah, this one. This one. How do you call the masanda? Sap. The sap of this one. Or the smaller one, like the other one, which is just little. You chop, chop. Small, small, you boil. You take on the water. That means, that means you'll be visiting the toilet occasionally. <laughs> this one. Very good at cleaning your inside, your intestine. This one. Very, very, very good. If you don't have access of getting that one, the one is still low, even eating much of the purpose still eases up you. You end up easing yourself. This one. Okay. We have this one. The pepper. I know this one you know. Yeah. This is fire to some. Someone who cannot taste is fire to them. But to me I can't even eat food without this. I can't. One. To someone who does not have appetite. Boosts appetite. Mm. Professor, yeah. so this one's so so of a good appetite. To begin with, small, small. But my friend, if you get addicted to eat, I will never eat food without this one. This one. Now, the leaves. This one, the taste. Ah, my friend, if you are not used, you can't test. But we now will let us talk about the leaves. Someone having problems with blood vision, eyesight, long sight, sightedness, short sightedness, you boil the, the leaves, you wash your hands, your, your, your face, and your hands. Very, very good at the eyesight this one in fact even eating people who eat pepper you go go their eyesight is much better than those who don't eat in fact people who eat pepper they don't get eyesight early than those who don't eat so that's why here in africa in, even in your country there are some of those people who used to eat pepper and even up now they're still so uh, a very good example i've ever been to india i've ever visited my friend in india but do you know those people they can't eat food they can't eat food without this rare food fire those indian guys even you chew those things they chew ever every time ice you can even pop just throw it out but look at their lifespan so, to men, loots of this one, it flashes your system. Now, we're going to come back. The loots of this. Yep. If a man, if a man cooks the loots of pepper, 
the first three days we expect you to pass out urine that is even double this one very good things that are near us but you don't give them time matoke is here everywhere this is matoke ah, let me show you on this one i was talking of someone who someone that has broken the leg when they bring you I see you one day, I tell Paul to take your wife home, I do my things. Me what I do is this one. I look at how many times have you broken your bone. One, I do this. Two, I do this. So, I tell Paul take your wife home. Now this is where spirituality comes in. So, I get my sticks, I put on this one. I strip it with fibers. So every day I come, I take off these ones like so. I take off them. The moment they are away, at home you start shouting. So I start slowly. I start slowly massaging now this one. But you at your home, I massage this one slowly, slowly, slowly. At your home you shouting. So when this one comes back to no more, without even wounds, at home you jumping. So that's where spirituality comes in. It's kind of logic, but it's true in African system. Okay? Matoke, I think Matoke is a very good source of fibers. And the people with the diabetes are advised to eat Matoke. This one. I know you know them. You know Matoke? You've ever seen Matoke? Mm. Yeah, banana tree. Banana tree. Or banana prime. Okay, so we go up. This is what we call the spear grass. This one. Now we are talking about men and sex drive. You uproot it, you only cut off. Still on our combination. This is what I always do. Boil, pack, send to my friends who are in the country. So you just boil that? The loot, not the whole of it. <laughs> okay. The loot. You send it to You are your as friend. sharp as this one. So you boil for how long? <laughs> <laughs> you boil, okay, like, like you've collected our combination. Those that have been showing you around. So, after getting the combination, you put in, let's say, saucepan, five liters of water. You boil, not until you lose one, two cups, that's one liter. You remain with four. Mm. Then you feed at the four, you keep. What about the red? There's, there's also one what thing, but let medicine. me give you it. Let me give it to you. There's one thing how you can keep this medicine. Let me give you. I know my ancestors won't punish me. Because I expected you asking me how to preserve. Mm. But you never ask. Mm. <laughs> is sodium, sodium water, forgetting the name. If you don't have access to that, there is a very simple logic. Do you know how do you call wallage? Gene. Wallage. Wallaji, like Uganda Wallaji? Yes. It's like a spirit? Or? Yes, yeah. spirit. Uh -huh. Any spirit. Uh -huh. In 10 liters, uh -huh. just put 100 mil. To give any step a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you see how even our so called Muslim, they take. They take. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, one, one quick one. You see <laughs> how they take. You boil the water <laughs> and send it to your friends. 
Yeah, you, you with, with friends abroad, you say? Yes. Where? Oh, there are so many. Ah, sorry. <laughs> There's also one. <laughs> no, Bungereza, England. Oh, England. Salongo Timba is there. Mwanje mm -hmm. is in America. Senyang is in Japan. So, we send. They are all doctors. Yeah. 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 We send. Very interesting. This one is in the group of bitter leaves. But here we call it bombo. This one. Also very good. This one is also, also very good. In fact, if you chew, very bitter. Give me this. No problem. Small <laughs> one. So we just stand it. How will you learn without testing? You have to test. <laughs> what is the studio? You can just take one. Test. Oh, you know? oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's test, yeah? <laughs> she says, oh. <laughs> it's really bitter. Eh? How is it? You no, bitter. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> With malaria, you feel the body weak, weak. Oh. Just pick a few. You, cough you chew. Yeah. You yeah. Cough. Oh God, Just pick a few. Yeah. One, two. The next day, you are okay. Very fine. Really? But uh, we forgot to tell you one thing. Uh, this is about midwives. Or midwives. Uh, here in our culture, like her, because it is their lineage, in their family, you might be possessing only or producing only male children. They give you hub, you change the sex of the children. They give you, you change. You have been, <laughs> hey, it's like <laughs> kind of funny, but here we do. That is the cute result. Mm -hmm. You want to reproduce boys, these local midwives, they give you the herb you take, the next day you're pregnant, they got, oh, you boy. So you change the sex. It's, yeah. mm -hmm. it's very easy mm -hmm. in our culture. Because mm -hmm. would you wish only producing only the same sex? Boy, 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 boy. Because you would say, okay, they're all children. That's me. Here in Africa, you ask him, if a woman only produces girls, he ends up in the neighbor's room, looking for a mother who can produce a girl. So, the better to produce mixing. Boy, that's what we talked boy. about last time with family planning. Yeah. You may find a mother wants to produce only three children, but they are all girls. She keeps on trying. Trying, not until hoping, boy, hoping for a, a for boy or a girl. girl. <laughs> and still in vain. So when the man comes, you get sex twice the same way. And as you say, maybe it can help with family. Planning. So, have this one in our mother tongue, we call it Om Sambia. This, this one. These are the flowers. I think you're seeing it clearly. The flowers. This one. I talked of the catalyst and the blood vision. You collect two, three, four, five. Like so. Suppose this is our banana leaf. You make a cone. A cone like this. I mean, our banana leaf. Put this, you cover one end. You either put, but it's not advisable to put on direct fire, it, it would be better in ashes down. Not until it is, it, it's like it has withered. You pull it out, you squeeze. Not until you see some juice or water coming out of our corn. If it's hot, you wait for it to cool. If you test it is okay, then you either put yourself or one who is near you can put for you on the eye, catalyst, and bad vision. Go on. Okay? Like if you are 
home at the whole day. You can put three times. If you're not home the whole day, you can put two. And that will be coming out in the book. Mm. In, a few, in a few months. <laughs> we want those protocols. <laughs> I know you know this is potato. Yeah. That one I know you know. So as we wind up and we go back, that's what we have to do. One more. When that, 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 that Newcastle forms in your esophagus, kind of a bolus, and if it drops into your lungs, that is it for you. So we used to fight it before it forms a solid mucus that travels up to your lungs. Yes. So most of the people who lost, it was a result of, mostly a result of that. The formation of mucus, the solid particle, so finally dropped to lungs. I went dropped there, most of them stabbed, died. Okay? So you were asking? I was gonna ask you what the plant behind you is actually. This one? This one is cassava. Oh, this one is cassava. This one is cassava. Yeah. You know? You know cassava? Okay. Here we are. This is the plantation, as you see, of eucalyptus. Mm. These are eucalyptus trees. It was very, very, very paramount, this one. This yeah. one. This one. Oil, if you get the extra oil of it, also very good pain. Skin, even oil, could be even mixed in the, in the cream or jelly. Very good. This one, very tasty. Okay. We call it a fumu fumu. This one. The leaves of this one. You put in water, you take. You boil, you take. But remember, I told you, boiling, we lose some ingredients. Okay? What does it do? This is a panado. Painkiller. This one. A very good painkiller. This one. Jackfruit. I think you know jackfruit. Jackfruit, you say? There's one down there. No, down. Listen to me. Jackfruit. You see jackfruit? Mm -hmm. This is jackfruit. A very good source of fiber. Fiber. That one. The seeds of a jackfruit. Remember, every fruit is good, but the seeds are more important because the collection of all ingredients are in the seed because it is the seed that can produce another plant so all ingredients this one we take note of it the seeds a watermelon the seeds are more important than the watermelon in fact even such the main watermelon very good guava seeds very important so never throw seeds away uh, ladies you know marijuana do you know mm -hmm. you know marijuana mm -hmm. let me give you one one tree marijuana pick the leaves boil They disinfect your genitals. But take note still, never use it when the man is not near. It raises the sexual libido. The marijuana, that one, the marijuana is. You don't need to take, just pull it, just shut down. The next day. Because there's that inching 
slight inching it causes, it puts you in a mood. You know garlic, ladies. You know garlic. Oh, garlic. Yeah. Garlic. You take a smaller peeling of it. It's kind of causing fire, fire in your genitals. But it's one of the of all that we have talked of that disinfects the garlic is very good when you insert it but I have infections I have infections very good garlic but if you're not strong enough you might put it and put it out at the very moment because of its burning it's essential okay so I think that is it is there anything that I've not talked about <laughs> I give you. You are, confu you are confusing <laughs> it. You are confusing it with cassava. Someone yeah, I was. Oh, you smell it. Cassava was marijuana. You smell it. Oh, just smell it. Yes. 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 Isn't this illegal? Yeah. Yeah. This is not my first time like holding weed. And, uh, and also in Wisconsin these days, right? It's uh, not. Uh, it's not, not in, in Illinois. In Dane County. Yeah. I was gonna say the. Um, I think it's only the like. Um, it's synthetic. Yeah. But you have to use it in very low levels, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 You can grow plants though. Like yeah, you can grow plants though. Yeah, in certain states. I can't think of the smell like rosemary. It kind of yeah, doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like rosemary or thyme. No, no, but I can't. I really like that. I really like that. Oh, okay, guys, listen. <laughs> now, you see this one? We will tell you later the name of it in English, Opera the Professor. This one is called, in our mother tongue, we call it Chisanda Sanda. This one. This one. This one, when you boil, you can put in Irish. Three, two, three, four, over top, three, four. Then you put in this one. When you boil, you take also pieces out. To someone who is who is having constipation. And it's advisable when you are taking this one, at least remain home that day. Because you might end up visiting toilets <laughs> every house you, you pass this one now now sometimes I quote the Bible because I was there I quote the Bible because I was there uh, in the Bible in Genesis 22. Uh, we look at Abraham who was going to sacrifice Isaac, the only son he had. And after even raising his hand with a knife, he had the voice. That is according to mythology of the Bible. He had the voice of God in the bush that your commitment and the love you have for me, please don't sacrifice your son. I have, I have offered you a lamb. So in the end, he sacrificed a lamb. So this is where do, we do our sacrifices. In fact, of like two days. In fact, you even seen blood here. So we do sacrifices here, the lamb. Even we do for those one who are not even here in the country. The one we last did was for someone who is in the US. So we do this. If the Bible says um, talks about it, and even our grand did in sacrifices. So we do put the whole of it. 
we put here the choto the fire and then we put it on so look at these Arabic guys the ball of the Arabics are they, are they called the Arabics Arabic? Arabics the Arabs look at them in fact they even have the ED of sacrifices can you imagine what is behind sacrificing so even in culture the ancestors they demand at least twice in a year because what we in the bagandas we have a, a full year we have two years in one year in the 365 days we have two years from january to june that is a female year that is a female year then from july to december that is a male year so we are advised according to our grand great ancestors to put a lamb sacrifices a male white or that brown one at least to pray for ourselves to pray for the nation and to pray for the whole country to pray for our friends you might even leave everyone goes back to your country but i sacrifice for you some of you just the professor puts for you he prays for you some of the people that I do sacrifices for them, we even do a voice with video calling. I put my phone on the high iPod, uh, tripod, they see what I'm doing. We pray together. So sacrificing is praying. So of all things that you get the whole year, how many have you sacrificed to your spring being? So we come down on our knees we put this and we don't even eat a piece of it we have to burn the whole of it to ashes as you see because you're seeing body here we burn the all of it that is also one way of communicating to god or to spring being so this is why you see we have many of them and by the way each of them represents a spirit so this one is chiwanuka chiwanuka there in the in the bible is what they call the angel gabriel so this is this one chiwanuka so that is all i think i've taken you through nice seeing meeting you guys ah, nice Okay. We'd like to thank you for your time and showing us around and sharing some of your wisdom. I think it was really informational for us to get to see how you operate here. You're so welcome. thank you very much. I thank you for this day. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. From where they are coming from, I know we still remain brothers and sisters and them blood, bread that represents our sister Chuanka. I thank you for what you've gone through. I thank you that you are known among us all as already that you are in the hospitals. We thank you that we are not mad. We thank you that we are not on oxygen. We thank you that they are still living. I pray for them in their journey of becoming whom they want to be. They want to become doctors, nurses and whatever. Please, you may, may you raise a blessed hand upon them and give them what they seek for. And as they go back to their mother countries, please be upon them. 
Olga, Talena. Omuuliza wa kwa radio Oina chewebuza kubuangabu Wakuloga netu manjuru achi wakuloga Olina olutwe Ngabudiomu olunwe alusimba mugwe Oyagada kuda kulutembe raba jajabu Owa oyagada kumanya na chukwataga na kulubale wa chikacho Naruachi ya gana okutelela Tukusaba Welcome to Kau Radio Intavido ya magezo kumanya na okutelela Kau Radio Inkuzi yogu wangane nono Kwa avulimundu